I want to talk to you about the three common mistakes that people make when they're building their website. And the reason that I'm doing this video is because I have seen time and time again these three mistakes. And so this is my way of informing you about these mistakes so then you can go and have a look at your website or if you're building your website, you can just be aware of this so that you can not make the same mistakes. Okay, that's the outcome of this video is that you don't make these mistakes. And they're very, very, very simple. And the reason that I know this is not just like a one-off thing is because I recently did a three and a half hour mammoth website review session where I actually went through about 70 websites. I did another session where I did about another 30. So in the last couple of weeks, I've actually reviewed over a hundred different business owners' websites. And I've seen this, I would say about 80% of the time, these three mistakes keep popping up. And the first mistake is not having a clear and compelling headline. That means that when I land on the page, I'm pretty much just left to fend for myself. There's no outcome. There's no, why am I here? There's no, I want you to do this. I don't know what the page represents. I don't know what the company represents and I don't know what I'm meant to do. So the first is a clear and compelling headline. You must have a clear and compelling headline on the opening page of your website. If that is your home page, your landing page, whenever someone lands on a page, tell the person why they're there. Okay, and you can do this in two ways. There is the right creative side of the brain and there is the left logical side of the brain. So the right creative or the headline would be something like, and I'm gonna use these examples, we can say, for example, for Airbnb, they say, welcome home, okay? And then the left side of the brain, the slogan, the strap line, the more analytical, logical side, gives you a description of what this does. So welcome home is the creative headline and rent unique places to stay from local hosts in 190 plus countries. So it tells you exactly what it does. It makes you feel good and it tells you what it does. A great example of a headline. Let's also look at Uber. Uber is another good example. Your ride on demand. Transportation in minutes with the Uber app. So we have a headline and a subtitle and it's there and it tells you what it does. Another example of this is Spotify. It's playtime. It gives you just enough to want to look into it but doesn't tell you what it does. Say hello to the most entertaining Spotify ever. Play free or subscribe to Spotify Premium. So. This doesn't exactly tell you what it does, but it does give you an idea uh, if you know what Spotify is. They're actually, and this could be improved by saying that it's music, um, but I mean, we know what Spotify is, but again, it's just an example of a headline with the right and the left side of the brain. Another one is Netflix. Watch TV programs and films anytime, anywhere. Okay, it's really, really simple. And then actually they say plans from $5.99 a month, which actually gives you everything that you need in the site right there. And something else you're gonna see here in these videos is the second uh, mistake that I see people making, and that is having a clear call to action. Okay, when I come back here, now how it works is grayed out, but what we have here is search, and it is a different color and it stands out and it pops. And a call to action should be different to anything else on the website. If we go to Uber and we look at Ubers, we can see that their call to action button is blue. So anything that they want you to do is blue. Sign up or become a driver. See how login and sign up here, they're different. They're not worried about that. They're not worried about the menu. All they want you to do is click on one of these two buttons, which is what you see. When we come to Spotify, they just want to get you involved. They want you to get involved and to do that we have a big green button that says play free. If you want to go premium you can, there is an option to do that, but they're interested in the call to action which is just to get you into the system and that is why they have the green play free button. And again Netflix when we come here, start your free month. Now these companies they spend a lot of money on working this copy, this content, what it says, where it's placed, 
they have a big red button that says start your free month. Again, when you look on the page, it stands out. So what I really want you to do is start looking at your headline and start looking at your call to action. The third thing, which is the biggest mistake that I see people making, is they are not tracking analytics. Google Analytics is a free platform. If you go to google.com forward slash analytics, you can register for free. You can create an analytic account, you can install some code on your website, and then you can track what people are doing when they land on your website. 80% of the people that I reviewed were not doing this. So there are your three things that I would suggest you do to avoid the common mistakes that people make when they build their website.